Hey friends, Amanda here, Bare Bones Living. Welcome back. And today is super exciting because today I'm getting my second nuke. And the reason for getting a second nuke, they suggest that it's good to start with two hives so that you can kind of compare your two hives. You have a reference point and you can compare and contrast how each hive is doing in their health, in their pulling of comb, in their growth, all those things. Um, you have the two to compare and even though they are from the same breeder, they're two different queens and therefore they are two totally different colonies and I think as, that we will see, you know, as this whole uh, bee journey continues and these all, both of these colonies grow, we'll see just how different each one is as they grow up. So I'm excited to get these going. You'll see that this nuke is not in that cardboard box like I got last time. And I had mentioned to you that I got these from my mentor who actually lives down the road from me. And so this is the box that these bees are used to. This is the nuke hive that she has been raising them in. So instead of upsetting them and moving them to a cardboard box and then me bringing them home and upsetting them again by moving them to my hive, she has just been nice enough to box up and tape down, leave them in the box that they're used to and just tape them down and then she put a piece of carpet in the front so that they can't come and go. She did this at night so that all the field bees had come back for the evening. So everybody should be good in here and they shouldn't be so totally upset. <clears throat> so I only have to take them out and put them into my hive. So they're only getting one move instead of two. So that'll be good. And then I can just return this, her uh, new hive to her when I'm done. And so what I'm going to do right now, I tried to have everything set up, but you know, time didn't allow for me to get everything ready. So I'm just going to remove this carpet and let these bees orient to their new home and get out and forage and do their bee thing while I get ready all the rest of the stuff. I thought I had everything, but I forgot to put together my feeders. So I'm gonna let them out, let them orient, let them drink some water, get some pollen, and then I'm gonna come back after they've settled down a little bit and move them into my hive. But I thought it would be cool if I could, I don't know if it'll catch really on the film, but you'll see <clears throat> when the bees start coming out, what they do is what's called like an orientation flight. So they'll come out and they'll circle, come out in a circle and circle up and they'll circle wider and wider and wider as they go up. And that's them getting their bearings to this new area that they're in. So I'm going to try to position the camera where I think that you might actually be able to see that. I hope you can catch it. Um, but that's, that's a really cool thing. I saw it on this hive. It was really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it with the camera, but let's see what we can do. All right, we will see if you can see it from this angle. And I'm just gonna pull out this carpet and let them go. Look, they're busting at the seams, ready to come out. So that one's going up. That was the first bee out, and it didn't really do the orientation flight that I was telling you about. More are taking flight. 
And there they go. Circle, circle, circle. Yeah, I think it might be too hard for you guys to see on this. But they're just going one at a time, coming out, circling around, coming back down. And then they'll go out again and do it again. Just getting oriented and I'm just going to let them settle down here. So what do you guys say we give these girls their new home? They've had a while here now to get acclimated. There's a lot of activity going on here with the two hives getting used to being next to each other. These new, this new hive here getting oriented to where they are. It's very busy over here, but I want this hive to be in their new home and get acclimated. So I have everything set up. I have their feeders ready. I'm just gonna move that piece of carpet padding. I think I'm actually gonna bring this new hive down to the ground so I can take this lid off. They're not gonna really like being moved, but gotta do it. You always just wanna make nice and slow movements with bees. And then I'll get this off. And out of the way. And this off and out of the way. And then I have my frames in here ready. And I'm just gonna untape it. I'm just gonna untape this and start taking them out. I have in here is another gold queen. You can see that she wrote here gold Q, that's gold queen. So everybody's just checking me out, checking out what I'm doing. They don't like it. I'm just gonna try to get this done as quick as possible for them because I don't want to upset them any more than they have to be. They don't like to be messed with and I don't like to be messed with, right? Unfortunately, I don't think this one's going to be as calm as the other one was because this is a little bit of a different situation here. Having the other frame right, or the other hive right there. And these two hives next to each other. These bees are getting used to a lot of new things here.
So I'm not going to be messing with these bees very much today. And going over them, I'm just going to get them in their new home. That first frame is the hardest, the first and the last. Always remaining calm during all this. There is definitely a lot of buzzing going around. Smooth movements. Don't need to panic. They're panicking enough. I don't need to add my emotions to this. And even though they're not happy about this, they are not attacking me. They're definitely grumpy. But this is not bad at all. I'm not actually scared here. You can see how this, these frames are very sticky here. This is all that propolis that I was talking about. That's that glue that bees use to hold everything together. It's very, very sticky. the frames are in. I'm just going to push these frames together. So 
slowly. So as not to squish as many as possible. But if the frames aren't touching, the girls will fill them in. And then I have their feeders ready here. Just put these on top. Put them over here where there aren't a bunch of bees that I can smush. And then I will close them up. They'll make their way over. There are quite a few bees in here. I'm gonna try to dump these guys out. They're already pretty ticked, so. A little bit more jarring isn't the end of the world. let everybody else migrate their way by themselves. But they are all now fed and in their new home. I'm gonna put these tops on. I already have the entrance reducer up here in the front. You can see the bees congregating around that. Put my lid on. inner cover and my telescoping cover. Yeah. And then I didn't have another brick, but I have whatever this thing is and boy is it heavy. That's just so that the lid doesn't fall off or blow off. In our case, up here, we get extreme winds. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is the next morning and all is calm. Everyone's figured it out. The new hive, which is the one that's closer to the camera, is a little bit more active with these guard bees here because they're still a little on high alert. That's why they're kind of just <clears throat> hovering outside the entrance and being a little bit more protective but they are much happier than they were yesterday doesn't look like there's any aggravation between the two hives or anything like that but it all looks great Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bare Bones Living. We'll catch you on the next one.